नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू वीनस एस्ट्रो वीनस एस्ट्रो में आपका स्वागत है सो टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट एट्थ हाउस वील लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर सीरीज लर्निंग सीरीज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एट्थ हाउस वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट हाउस बिकॉज पीपल आर सो स्केयर ऑफ आई एम गोइंग टू स्कोर स्केयर यू डोंट वरी बट आई मेक श्योर दैट आई ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द पॉजिटिव थिंग्स दैट वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन मेक योर लाइफ बेटर सो वेन वी से एट्थ हाउस इन काल पुरुष दिस इज स्कॉर्पियो साइन and uh, there are two owners mars primary and co lord is uh, ketu and then in one of the video first video i talked about if you look at the lagna go and watch the lagna video i talked about how you enter from the first house and eighth house is the exit you finish your karma till seventh house and eighth house is the exit so eighth house is all about your longevity you check your longevity from there so we'll talk more about that moon gets debilitated there what does it mean see mind is debilitated and then you are done and when it, when i explain rahu ketu placement in 8th house you will understand why i'm talking about moon moon debilitation uh, in this house obviously it's like related to your mind and all you you might suffer might so i'll talk about permutation combinations but just to remember this is the debilitation place exaltation second eighth debilitation uh we need to understand the body part before we get into the details i'll share the chart also and uh till seventh house i talked about the abdomen lower abdomen area and all so the the part which you, you cannot see so that is that is hidden because this is house of house which is hidden we we say uh, this is hidden house dark house and that you would you would have seen in thumbnail so your anus hip buttock those parts are related to to eighth house and people having problem like uh, uh piles or they are replacing their uh, butt and all that hip hip replacement surgery of the buttocks and all those things you can look at from eighth house or eighth house is afflicted and i'll talk about the affliction the kind of problem that one can face because karkas are completely different when it comes to 8th 8th house 8th house uh, we know for what all things that is important because the moment we hear 8th house everybody or that comes in our mind suddenness death this is longevity let's not talk about death we'll talk about death but this is the house of longevity and longevity decided on the two factors one based on your past karma so this is something related to past life eighth house is related with past life second is the way you live your life in this in this life the way you are leading your life the way for the kind of food you are having the kind of drink and all that your your habits if you read all the classics most of the classics they have mentioned very clearly after all the calculation of uh longevity that one can uh, die before time premature because of their own habits and that can be seen in your chart and one can do the mantra chanting to ensure that they cross that phase which can kill them because of their bad habits so this is one thing a very interesting topic long topic when we teach a uh, dasha and all that and different ayur dashas in that we also talk about what all uh, mantras are required this is from 7 this is the second house so this is marka for your spouse okay then this is uh, spouses family so that's your in laws also inheritance seen from uh, eight thousand sudden gain or sudden loss you must have heard about people they they purchase a lottery ticket somehow they were not interested they purchase and they won like some one cr and something like that 10 million or something that is also eight thousand is connected gambling will say eight the 11th five all that a combination i talk about but eight connection is that because all of a sudden all of a sudden downfall is also from eight thousand research house of research all the big scientists researchers 
they they they'll have some good connection with the eighth house if you look at their chart even einstein chart einstein was einstein is einstein even today is not there but his concepts are there so just because of the eighth house because this is the house where we say darkness is there but once you dive deeper you will find the things that other can't see other can't discover that is the reason in occult when it comes to kundalini jagrit how to invoke that kundalini shakti that is from 8th house and then you can see that which planet is there do i need to do meditation do i need to do mantra do i need to be bachelor all those different things are there based on the planets that will help you uh, invoking that eight kundalini but today it's today's topic is not kundalini it's about mostly about 8th house then uh, this is also others money because i always say lagna is you seventh house is the world apart from you so from seventh this is second others money how to utilize that see it's all about utilizing the house energy if you utilize the energy of that house you'll be able to deal with any any challenges any circumstances even with, when it comes to longevity all of a sudden death and all please read the article in facebook or even on my website i think i have i have uploaded if not i'll upload that venusastro.in you can read that article about the 8th house very interesting article now uh, from there if we uh, move forward people like for example ill fame they are not getting fame or they're getting blamed that you can see from 8th house there are so many different things when it comes to 8th house the most important is Uh, how to see all these different results you cannot say this planet is sitting so all the things will happen no then we need to understand the karka when it comes to longevity saturn is the karka for longevity number one thing because ketu is co lord he is interested in moksha so when it come comes to destroying the body ketu is the karka for destruction of the body mars is death depth so it's death and then uh accidents all those things you can see from mars and ketu together then uh, apart from this rahu all that ill fame belongs to rahu also when i say body karaka is ketu mind and soul karaka is rahu sitting in 8th house so if rahu is in 8th house you need to consume that energy in a positive way then uh, that is so we talked about mars we talked about saturn rahu ketu yes now 8th house it's not only from lagna you need to check from lagna aruda lagna and atma karak because we have not learnt about atma karak what is atma karaka char karaka different karakas because sthir karaka char karaka naisarkik karakas going forward we will we'll learn that but yeah you need to check that from 8th house if you look at that is third house is 8th from 8th so let me do one thing let me share my screen many people they they feel comfortable looking at the screen so this is 8th house Uh, yeah. So we are talking about the eighth house, and see, this is darkness, eighth houses, and light is behind that. That one needs to understand. Once you understand, then uh, it will be easy for you to understand how to utilize this energy. See, Bhavat Bhavam from eighth to eighth is the third house. This third house is really important. So. this is house of longevity but when it comes to when you want to look at that okay what when the person will die and what will be the circumstances and all check from aruda lagna third house from aruda lagna that will tell you the place of death and circumstances somebody asked today that uh, how to calculate pada or aruda lagna or aruda pada just to give you one example let's suppose so that everybody is on the same page if we are talking about lagna ascendant and we want to calculate the aruda lagna the uh, the pada of the the first house 
and the first lord is sitting in the fifth house so you count 1 2 3 4 5 and again from lord you need to count 5 1 2 3 4 5 so this becomes your aruda lagna similarly for any house let's suppose aruda of fourth house so you will say 1 2 3 4 5 then you will say lord is sitting here again you will say 1 2 3 4 5 there is only one condition for any house the first house house itself and the house opposite uh, opposite to that like 1 7 4 10 3 9 this cannot become the aruda that uh, one needs to understand so for example let's suppose 12th lord is sitting in the ninth house 7 8 9 10 so again you count from here okay so let's suppose this is like i'm just giving one example then 7 8 9 10 this the sixth house is opposite, opposite to sixth house so for 12th house 12th and 6th can't be the Aruda Pada. So what you need to do is, if that is happening, from there again count 10. So the principle is very simple. Look at the house for that you want to calculate. Where is Lord placed? Count that number. From Lord again count it. The exceptions are 1st house and the 7th house. House opposite. 1, 7, 2, 8, 3, 9, 4, 10, 5, 11, 6, 12. This is like, it cannot be. Arudapada. So for that, wherever it is falling, let's suppose for first out, if it is falling in the seventh, just count 10 from there, 4,000 will be the Aruda. Now done. Let's move to our topic. So from Aruda Lagna, let's suppose Lagna is here, Lagnesh is here, ascendant, and then from 1, 2, from 1, 2, and this is Aruda Lagna, just example. So from here, the third house, this house will tell you the place of death and the circumstances. Now, and I'm talking about death and everything because most of the classics, they spend most of the time on death when it comes to eighth out, longevity. And then I'll talk about good things also so that you should not get scared. I wanted to tell you that what is death? Death is the end of karma and karma seen from the 10th house. So when it comes to calculating the longevity, 8th, 10th house is the karma, 8th house is the destruction of the body. These two houses are really important. Once karma is over, Body destructed, done. You face death. You see death. So you can see the important between uh, the connection between 10th house and 8th house. Yesterday I gave a concept of looking at Upachaya. Okay. And, and this house, 8th house is Upachaya for which all houses. So from here, this is third. From here, this is 6th. Okay. From here, it is 10th. From here, 10th house. This is 11th. 3, 6, 10, 11. So, 6th house, 3rd house, 11th house and 10th house. These 4 houses, for these 4 houses, 10th, 8th house is Upachaya. Whatever that karma you perform related to this house will take all these houses to the next level. This is one way to look at. Second is, for 8th house, this is third. Okay. This is the six, uh, sixth. Then we need to count seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. If you look at tenth house and then lagna, ascendant, then your fifth house and sixth house. Ten and six really common across. For six, this is upchaya. For eight, this is upchaya. For ten, eighth is upchaya. For eight, ten is upchaya. Can you form a connection between these three? To going to the next level, the most important thing is that how do you perform the karma and how do you live your life? House of disease, enemies. Are. Do you have enough enemies because of your own because of your own karma? Once you understand, then you understand that the karma that you perform is directly related with the eighth house result. kind of karma that you are performing. Also, this house is the house of hidden desires. You could have hidden desires related to property, uh, vehicle, relationship, physical relationship, all those things. And we'll, deal, we'll talk about a different planet sitting here. And in next part, whenever we'll start Lord from first, 
will say first lord in this this house is this is the second round first round is going just about the house so and it is also as i said others money it means the someone who can create money from create wealth through others money or gain from others money that also you will see from 8th house so this is important you look at lagna becomes upchaya for 8th house it means lagnesh has to be strong your ascendant lord has to be strong to support support in matters of 8th house you might have observed people they start occult practices astrology and all and all of a sudden they will change i'll do vedic then i'll do this and then i'll do this why ascendant lord is not strong badly placed afflicted and that is the reason it happens if your ascendant lord is strong ascendant will ensure that it saves you from all the bad things uh, that that can all of a sudden things that can happen through 8 house the result that you can you can get now if benefits are sitting here when i say benefits three benefits jupiter mercury and uh, uh, uh venus it means you will see the end of your life good end of your life the end will happen in a good way malefic sitting there obviously all of a sudden accident while operation heart attack all those things we'll see is there any connection with the heart and then 4 48 it will give you property it will give you heart attack also if it is afflicted best dasha is the shul dasha that that you can like one house 999 that is 108 years you can use that that dasha to calculate the longevity but i'll not get into dasha different vargas needs to be evaluated when it comes to 8th house so for example if it is about this person then d1 d9 and d10 related to karma okay let's suppose you are evaluating about your siblings then go to d3 parent go to d12 if it is your health go to d30 spouse d9 and what you have to do there check the second and the seventh house this is the house of longevity 1 minus marka eighth from eighth third house house of longevity 1 minus second house is marka these two houses are marka that's the reason yesterday i said if your seventh lord is in the second house badly afflicted obviously there is a risk that your spouse can create some trouble i don't want to get into the details that you can understand so this is important see this year is 2024 year of 8th house year of saturn saturn is karka of 8th house and this is what is the date today 2728th whatever it is uh i'm not good at okay 28th in last 28 days if you just look back you would have real you will realize that small small many things happened which was all of a sudden and you were shocked because this go house got activated because of the year that is again i'm connecting numerology and this the year itself is containing the energy of saturn or in last 28 days the people would have gone to hospital there is some connection with the 8th house and they would have found some disease which will take long time to get cured even there could be relationship matters either sudden end or suddenly relationship started all of a sudden 5 and 8 all of a sudden obviously 11th is there So I'm not getting into the uh, marriage and all that. I'm talking about the relationship. All of a sudden, shares these five, eleven, and eight. All of a sudden, because this is your wish, desire, and hidden desire is here. So desire from there, if you count, this is the eighth, tenth uh, house. 
And from this house, the 11th house is 4th house. Whatever that you do here, happiness or sorrow that you are going to get in the 11th house in the society. If you do perform bad karma, for example, let's suppose you are into extramarital relationship. Something went wrong. You got caught. Okay. Now, where is the impact? Happiness is here. This is social circle. That will get impacted. People will start talking about you. So this is how the houses are connected. Then, 8th house is a house of research. I talked about engineers, doctors, Mercury, Mars, Ketu making connection here. See, Ketu is detailing, getting into the nitty gritty. Mercury education, Mars is engineering. Mars, Mercury, Ketu combining together. They could be really good at handling data. Data scientist and all that. Now, if you have that combination connected with 8th house, get into that field. Or 8th house is, let's suppose if you have 10th and 8th connection, work and 8th house, and you are thinking, oh no, it's going to be break and all that. That we see from detail. I'll talk about that. Why not to join a company where you can make money through others' money? Even bank is there. Bank is taking the deposit and then investing somewhere else and then keeping that cut percentage and that percentage is getting distributed among the employees. Even a banker's insurance sector, IT, visa and all that. Somebody who is, this is house of darkness. Somebody who is in a, working in mining and all, coal mining and all that. They are inside for eight hours. Good connection with eight thousand. Dark hole, getting inside. Will they come outside? That particular day transit, I, I always pray that people should come out. There shouldn't anything happen. But you can check that. Good or bad things happening a day, for example. This is Moksh Trikona. Trine, 4th house, 8th house, house and 12th house. Remember I talked about going abroad. And that was from 4th house. If your 4th house is afflicted, there is a connection between 3rd, 9th and 12th. For example, 3rd, 12th, 4th, 12th. You might go, might go and settle abroad. You know, at that point of time, in your chart or Tithi Pravesha, 8th house should be activated. Should be. It, if you check, those who went to foreign abroad, just to settle down or for the education, the year which they went, 8th house was activate, activated. Why? Because all of a sudden he went first thing. This is his 8th house is something where you are not settled. So everything is scattered. You don't know what to do, what not to do. All of a sudden you are doing this, then you are doing documentation, then you are going for shopping, X, Y, Z, all these things. Hodgepodge. That is 8th house. So whenever you are shifting, your F 8th house, automatically in that year, it will show that it is activated. Now, when it comes to activation, it's not only that planet is sitting or Dasha will come. Even year, the running year can activate this house. So if you count from here, this is the 8th year of your life. First year, second year, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, eighth year running. Then again, 12 plus 8, 20 running. 24, 4 plus 8, 32 running. Then 36 plus 8, 44 running. And you can just keep on going. So 8, 20, 32, 44, 56. These are eventful years. You can read that. Venus Astro Group, I have shared uh, one post. That 32 year is the most event, eventful year. Because 8th house is activated and BSP, Rigu Saral Padati, there are four other planets which they activate different houses. But today we are not learning BSP. This house is activated. It means there is something related to your wife's health. There is something related to others' money. There is something related to your in-laws. There is something related to going abroad. There is something related to research work that you are doing. And in D10, 8th Lord 
and the planet in the eighth house indicates retirement, loss of job, and break, long break. Third is short break. In D10, you can see that, okay, somebody laid off from the company for three, four months, six months, third house. But there is going to be, if there is a connection with the eighth, in that dasha, antar dasha and all that, it means going to be for long. Year, two years, three years. This is how you, you can check. But the same lagna, uh, sorry, eighth lord, form a connection with the lagna lord, ascendant lord. In D10, oh man, you are going to get a lot of like uh, inheritance. Big things. When I say inheritance, it's not like getting a flat, a property. No, 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 no. You can't even think of. But that connection needs to be there in the 10th house. A legacy will be passed on which you can enjoy. This is also house of addiction. Because when you are in darkness, you don't know what you are doing. Your mind is not working because moon is debilitated. You are getting addicted. How to deal with that? I'll, I'll tell you in, in a while. It's also house of audit. I talked about research, audit, banker, insurance, all those things. Now, let's look at what happens if sun, is com uh, sun comes here. Let's go planet one by one. What can? So first thing that we need to understand, eighth house will impact and give you some kind of sorrow until unless you consume that energy in the right way. It means there could be something related to your father that can happen. Also, this is 12th from 9th house. Hospitalization, loss, expenditure, sleep issues and all those things. But this is the house of darkness. And this is also friendly house. If sun in good condition comes to this house, sun will throw light. See, if you look at sun, sun throws light and that's where the earth or the, the, the universe is there. Otherwise, hard to imagine the universe. When it comes to taking care, it's moon. Motherly care. I always say that. So, and problem is that until unless the sunlight is here because this dark, you struggle. But the moment sun comes here, if it is, let's suppose, sun with the malefic influence, then challenge with your spouse's health, you won't be able to pay your debt because you are taking a lot, uh, like lot of loans and all those things. Father's health issues, your karma, you are, you are fighting with your boss every time. This is the house of gain for your karma. You see this. From 10th, this is 11th. Whatever the karma you perform, it will show, it will indicate the kind of gain that you are going to get. And gain is not just based on the planets. It's also about the karma that you perform. I told, I told about 10th house, 6th house and 8th house connection. How this house is upchaya for 8th house. And also 8th house is upchaya for 10th house. So the way you live your life, the kind of hidden desires, unnatural hidden desires, obviously that will impact your karma. You must have seen people in the office with the unnatural hidden desires. They are always behind that. And their career gone. They are not getting promotions and all those things. Because they are behind something else. They are hidden desires. <coughs> Sorry. Moon goes here. See, in any condition, moon goes here in Kal Purush. This is the debilitation point. You will be disturbed. No doubt about it. That will impact your mother's health. But at the same time, it will ensure that you go outside. Go and settle outside. And in one of the videos, I, I said this. If you change your place, go to foreign country. Then this is not your first house, this uh, fourth house. This is not, not your first, uh, first house. Because you change your residence from fourth to twelfth. So this becomes your lagna. So that you need to see. We'll look at the example charts going forward. What if, let me talk about Rahu, Ketu, Saturn, Mars and then I'll talk about Jupiter, Venus and So Rahu, ill fame, you will do lot of hard work. This person will be really good at research, finding things, every day trying to discover. And I'm talking about just one plant, not the combination. I'm not getting into the combination. If you have something, you can ask the question uh, on YouTube and allow me at least 48 hours to answer. I try my best to answer same day, but not possible. 
So this is eighth house. Now I was talking about Rahu here. Rahu has the desire. What is the desire is all about? Obviously, Rahu, malefic Rahu, into some extramarital can might think of his spouse's death and all. I don't want to get into. But Rahu is in, interested in in-laws. In-laws could be properties or in-laws, any means. Could be really interested in research work. Can and, and also interested in others' money. This is trying to 12th house. This Rahu will benefit you from foreign connections. You will get benefited from for foreign connection, far distance places. If not badly afflicted and all that. But at the same time, it, it will give you the unnatural death. Not necessarily at the age of 32, 44. That is the matter of longevity. You can survive till 85, 90 years. But the last few years, few months would be really critical. Now, when it comes to Ketu, see for Ketu is moksha, body is getting destroyed. And that's where Ketu energy, to, energy, energy should be utilized for Kundalini. Ketu is cutting things, cutting in the small, small pieces. If Ketu is here, you meet with the accident and there's a Mars malefic influence somehow. Then you must have heard people, okay, they broke their uh, uh, bones and all in multiple pieces. Or many fractures, many cuts and all that because Mars also cut. Mars is all about cut and that is the reason doctors, I say, if you are going, getting into the operation surgeon, becoming surgeon, Mars should be there. Ketu is also good. Mars should be there. Sharp weapon, cutting things. That you can also look at from third from Aruda Lagna. If Mars is sitting there, when it comes to de death, that can happen through a sharp weapon. If it is Saturn, then it could happen through a long barrel rifle, something like that. And classics, it's, it has mentioned already all those things. Now, apart from uh, so Rahu, Ketu, now Saturn here, Karka of longevity, he will ensure longevity. But the problem with Saturn is he will give disease which will last for 10, 20 years. Otherwise, Saturn is good for longevity. Let me talk about Jupiter. See, Jupiter is the saving grace always a priest, a knowledgeable person. So whenever Jupiter comes here, and you can see in Kal Purush, this is the house and this is the house owned by Jupiter. So this 8th house is in trying to 12th and one back from 9th. From this house, if you look at the 12th house, house of meditation, if priest is sitting here, just he once he comes to the 8th house, that priest has to do the meditation. Everything is fine. Utilize that energy. Until unless heavily afflicted. Venus. See when it. This is house of desire. Hidden desires. Venus is there. You could have different kind of hidden desires. Sexual hidden desires. Related to wealth. Others women. All those things. But once you start consuming this energy. Start meditating. Mantra chatting. You can handle that energy. The best planet is Mercury. As per Maharishi Parashar. Mercury will give you disease. No doubt about it. But from here, because Mercury is also Karka of wealth, looking at the seventh house, Mercury will ensure that you have, you should gain money and create wealth. Even average Mercury will give you wealth. No doubt about it. This is how you need to look at the 8th house. Now, how to consume this energy? See, we all are. I am, right now, I am, I am teaching. You all are going to see this video. Must be watching. It means we are related with the 8th house. And I am I'm giving one uh, small remedy or technique, whatever you say. Let's suppose somebody is not getting married. And just ask them, what happens when it comes to marriage? And if they say, okay, everything is 
going fine smooth at the end last minute something happens and then all of a sudden program change or the other party they denied or my family denied or something like that all of a sudden no need to look at the chart tell them because there is some connection with the 8th house tell them to go and watch the astrology videos jyotish videos just tell them to watch let them utilize energy of this house the planet who is influencing the marriage automatically will get normalized but friends be careful don't look at the charts every time others chart no i'll tell you when to see when not to see you cannot just look at others chart every time but if things are happening all of a sudden you are losing money all of a sudden last one year that's a trend just go and and watch few videos every day for for few weeks just 3 4 weeks and ping me on youtube what happened this is the best way to utilize energy of this house let me just stop and let me talk about so this is all about 8th house and also there are a few interesting things about 8th house because 8th house is your in laws from relation st standpoint if rahu ketu sitting it means lot of karma pending karma with with uh, respect to in laws many a times people they say or when you look at the chart you can see that that person is not having good relationship with the in laws mostly let's suppose indian culture the way it is especially for in in case of girls i'm i'm talking about female members if in laws eighth lord getting involved in the seventh house matters it means there is someone from in law side is coming and disturbing the marriage now who is coming and disturbing look at the planet aspects and all that and see which relative you can figure out from that planet let's suppose your moon aries i am taking about aries ascendant moon is fourth house that is cancer moon is in the 7th house mars is also there you are married something going on go and check mother is involved your mother is involved she is trying to fight now from spouse if you take 4th house or 9th house let's suppose third lord is involved who is malefic here who is the malefic for 7th house matter once you understand you will see whether mother is fighting for good or bad or she is creating the problem one can easily identify that if someone is problem at in law's place who is that person who is creating all these issues this is really interesting 8th house if you go to d6 check it check second house and a uh, seventh house marka's house okay houses and if dasha is going and related with that it will kill your enemies be happy the way i said parents d12 and all that go to d6 you are suffering with the enemies because they are disturbing you and all that it will kill and when i say kill that doesn't mean that's a different story real killing and all but it will kill your enemy nobody is going to disturb you anymore so this is how you can see who is getting killed this is how you can see who is coming in matters of whatever it is let's suppose 8 and 4 connected and there is a connection with the second lord because you are going to accumulate wealth for yourself and that is the property fourth house is involved mars is involved but all of a sudden saturn jumped in and things are getting delayed and saturn is the lord of 11th house for example your elder sibling is creating the problem no doubt about it he will show or she will show that okay very mature person i am taking care of all these issues but that that person has interest of making sure that this goes for long 
this is the beauty of eighth house, whatever that is happening around all of a sudden, once you identify, you can do the remedies for that. Wherever your eighth lord will go, wherever, let's suppose going to Lagna, it's going to harm you, your health. I said wherever lord will go, lord has agenda. First of all, figure out the lord, who is the lord. Mercury is the Lord, Mercury is, and then Mercury is going somewhere else. I said Mercury is good here. Whether 8th Lord is a friendly to ascendant or not, that's the first thing. Different, different point. First point, is 8th Lord friendly to ascendant? If it is friendly and going to any house, will make sure, brings back good things to you all of a sudden. Friendly to Lagna, going to 4th, property will come. Going to 11th, Income will come. Going to 8th, share gain will come. Gambling tickets and all that. Whatever lottery tickets. Not friendly, you are going to lose money, wealth, whatever it is I told. If you find 8th house and 3rd house connection, obviously health issues and all that will be there. I am talking about the good thing. And as I said, Rao is their Mercury sun and all. Go ahead, do the social media work. You will gain, all of a sudden you will, get, you will have n number of subscribers. People will start following you. So this is all about 8th house. How you connect. Hope you enjoyed. Please like the video. Subscribe the channel. We'll continue our series. Ah, I missed one thing. Blessings. And how to manage balance. So 8th house. I always say the house. And the next house is the sustenance of that house. 8th house is the house of occult. Darkness. Ninth is Ninth house becomes the sustenance of this house. What does it mean sustenance? Is it just eating and living? Or living happily? So if you perform your work following the dharma, nothing can damage from 8th house. Nothing. No planets. Don't worry. Also, if things are not happening good to you and all of a sudden you have started struggling, go to your mother. Number one. Or look at the fourth house, Lord. Or planet sitting there. Which relative is indicating? Go to that relative. Take blessings. That will help you. Because from here, that is ninth house. For ascendant, ninth house is the blessing. Jupiter there. Bhagya. For eighth house, fourth is the Bhagya. Whichever planet is sitting there. One, two, three. Make good relationship with that particular relative. You will get benefited. You will get blessed. Even meeting with the accident or nothing is going to happen. And mother is always there because ninth in Kal Purush. If you are struggling with the work, go to the 10th tenth, uh, tenth place from there and see what is happening. If something you are doing related to 8th house, banking, insurance, research and all that. So whatever that you are performing here, because this, this becomes Lagna. You got this job. You be, and from there you will see which is the 10th house. And see which planet is setting. According to that you start performing job and all that. So this is how. All about 8th house. Next round we will talk about 8th lord going to 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. All those combinations. Please subscribe the channel. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we will not have classes. You can watch old videos, create notes, ask the questions. Uh, next class will be on Tuesday. Both the ninth house. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaskar.